Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Meta Report, uh, where I take a look at the data from the first week of Grand Arena every new season, because uh, the landscape always changes a good deal in between new seasons, uh, with new data current sets and the old data current set being expired, so things change a lot. Uh, I'm looking at about 25 teams, as you can see all the tabs up here, uh, so we got a lot to go through, but hopefully having pre-sorted that, that will save some time. Uh, looking first, we have the meta squads list. So I have this sorted for the defense, sorted by hold rate. And up at the top, Leia is insane right now. 56% hold rate, and it's this particular comp. So it's Drogon and R2 like normal, but Kevin Rex and Old Ben. And I think most of these are, st even though there is the support here, you might think support Kron, it's Tank Kron that is juicing up Leia, making her harder to kill. Um, and they're probably some other variants that are doing really well, but that one is really standing out. Only 4,956, compare that to like 20,000 of these Jabba's, so not everyone's using that lineup, but take take mind that this lineup is probably the best. Uh, we also have Jabba with really high hold rates, 40%, 42%, although a key component might not be showing here. Cad Bane actually does help out, He's, uh, interesting enough. Uh, JMK with Plo, 40%, and then we start to see the drop-off. Those are the top three defensive GLs. Uh, then we got a Starkiller team with Visas, 33% hold rate. Malakos, 31%. Uh, another Starkiller, and that's just a different tank, still around 30%. Uh, Queen Amidala, 27%. Qui-Gon Jinn, 25%. Rannis, 24%. Trench, 23%. Uh, and then Lord Vader is all the way down here with 21%. Bo Katana is just running roughshod over him right now. Um, Gungans are also pretty good. This was the most populous, the most commonly seen lineup because there's only five Gungans. The team's determined for you, so that's the most common lineup we saw on defense. 21% um, hold rate. Um, and yeah, so going down the line, they start to become less and less impressive. So let's move on to the specific lineups. I was looking through this list, sorting through uh, you know, win rates and going through that way, but I opened up the tabs and kind of organized them somewhat. I have GLs towards the front, but first I want to talk about Great Mothers. I have filtered, uh, and the general rule, this is looking at Kyber 1, 2, and 3, because of the skill squish, Kyber 1 is extremely small, and Kyber 1, 2, and 3 is pretty much what Kyber 1 was at the beginning, near, towards the beginning of the year almost, or at least uh, 1 and 2 is what it was, but Kyber 3 has a lot of tough players right now too. I have the Great Mothers Kron filtered, and I have filtered by Morgan Elsbeth and Night Sister Spirits. Um, if you change the lineup, it gets even harder. But this team is a nightmare of a team. Uh, right now, Jedi Master Kenobi with Plo Koon is a pretty good answer. Um, however, once you add in Dark Trooper, Peridia, and Night Trooper, that goes all the way down 35%. So that is kind of a nightmare. Uh, we talk about Plo Koon, and you might notice that this is not Supreme Leader Kylo Ren lead, this is Kylo Ren on mass lead. And why people are using that is because uh, First Order allies gain 20% turn meter when they get when they land a crit. So essentially, Supreme Leader Kylo can kind of go on forever uh, once it gets his first turn. So it's actually a pretty high win rate uh, here. People are adding in Phasma too. Um, this is like an all feed turn meter, feed turns to Supreme Leader Kylo. Uh, Hux and um, the Fu can pass a turn to Supreme Leader Kylo, basically, and Captain Phasma gives turn meter up. So if you lose, if you don't have a complete perfect loop with Supreme Leader Kylo, they can help get it back to you. Uh, but like Jedi Master Kenobi, if you add Dark Trooper, Peridia, and Night Trooper, that suffers a lot, 31%. However, even with those two, if you have Phasma, that greatly increases the chances. So probably the best option we have right now is crew lead with just a bunch of turn passers to get back to Supreme Leader Kylo. Uh, First Order Stormtrooper is actually pretty high too. 70, that's even higher than uh, Phasma and that's because it's an extra tank and it kind of calls assists and counterattacks so it's kind of nice. Uh, but this team there's only really two options. JMK Plo and then some iteration of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren under crew. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren lead itself is terrible right now. So it's, and you scroll down as far as the eye can see, it's pretty bad. I mean, Treya, 28%. So that's kind of rough. Um, Great Mothers, just ridiculous. Uh, Leia. So I have Leia sorted by the tank cron. Um, so if we look at overall data cron, that is by far the most populous. Uh, and when we filter by it, 
the overall win rate is 34.99%. That's insane. I have filtered R2 and Drogon, uh, but let's add in Captain Rex um, just to look at that since that was the best hold rate we were seeing. Uh, and Old Ben is good too because the turn meter reduction and ability block. So, and I lost my first match of the season uh, trying this. Supreme Lord Kylo Ren straight up. Not a great win rate, like 40% when you have uh, Lobster, Foo, and Hux, and 38, so even JMK Plow, 48%, it's crazy. Uh, what is your best option here? Probably the Mirror. Um, people are using Mon Mothma, Palkron, and Luthen, 29%, but that is not assuring. Jabba getting trounced. Um, I mean, really, it's uh, Leia Mirror is the only thing above like 60%. That I'm seeing. Uh, Reva looks like it was an option. Uh, but again, not feeling safe. So, but one thing to look at, I think, is crew with armorer. Uh, a lot of people like doing with brute alpha. Still not good. Still not a good win rate. So it's just it's just all bad. <laughs> so uh, it's I used myself JML with Plo. Uh, to beat it, it was it wasn't this exact line. It didn't have Captain Rex, but if you had Captain Rex in there, that's when it becomes the nightmare. Take Captain Rex out, and up to 57% um, if you don't have him necessarily. Uh, but if you add so tagging data, Kron primary, Blow Coon, and stun, let's see what that comes to. That's still still just as bad. <laughs> but there, there's no great option against Leia. Leia, top defensive team for sure. Her and great mothers. Here I have Ray. I didn't know what to filter her Datacron as. I mean, the most common is the attacker thing. That's also because of Nest. So let's just filter by the attacker one. And I do have Nest added here. Uh, ben, Nest, and Ray. Um, and the only, I mean, I filter by Nest because if you take Nest off, it's actually pretty. I know it's that. So filter. I don't know. I've lost track. Okay, so that would be with Nest. This is without. Let's refresh that. Still 60, I mean, that is the most common lineup. So if I find one without Nest, uh, Malakos is really high win rate. Uh, Starkiller, if they don't have Nest, is a pretty high win rate. Um, so basically Nest is probably a good go-to if you are placing this on defense. However, I don't, I'm not seeing it as high up. I mean, it's just a ton of Malgus or Mal, Malakos and the Star Killer, uh, but the best counter, in my opinion, was Queen Amidala, and I cannot believe I have to scroll this far to get to it. That is crazy. I should just use search. Okay, with Queen Amidala. Um, I mean, I did this all season. I just had Qui Gon, Obi Wan, Shakti, and then someone else support Kron, and it just rips them to shreds. So not big on set uh, support. That's crazy that there's so few, but I guess a lot of people are putting on defense, but that is the safest counter. That is probably the best counter by far. So I recommend it. <laughs> um, Java, I have filtered by the support cron. That was the most popular by far. So almost 8,000 of these compared to 6,000 of the attack cron one. And I have filtered by Bush and Gersantin. It's pretty good Kylo, still not that great of a result. And Night Sisters, less than 1%, terrible. Um, Afra is actually a pretty decent percentage right now. Afra had Afra is benefiting a lot from support cron and the triple zero cron. Um, Reva not really getting it done. JMK not really getting it done. Um, just a tough matchup. I think the best by far, like I said in a recent thumbnail in my video and that I tried a few times, is Lord Vader. Um, that's with the support cron. So this is eighty two percent. Something interesting I noticed: if you add Tarkin, you can get up to ninety five hundred percent. Uh, that's because Tarkin is another sport, does a lot of debuffs, really helps juice up um, that crit damage, and also just, I don't know, click the debuffs offense down and get buff immunity, so it, it's really nice. So you don't really need uh, Maul there. Um, however, if you add on defense Cad Bane, because he is, it's weird enough, he's a support. Uh, if you add another support uh, cartel on defense, um, I in this case, I have him there instead of Embo, because Skiff Guard Lando, uh, is probably better in that lineup based on the win rates. Uh, the win rate for Lord Vader does go down 
um, especially in, in the higher uh, sample size battles. Uh, these lower sample size, we have some 100%s, but it's hard to know for sure. Um, Supreme Lair Kylo, still around 60%, zero for Night Sisters. Um, and then Afra falls a little bit lower, 53%. Dark Trooper Moff Gideon um, is working. The turn meter, the infinite loop is turned off now, so try that at your own risk. Uh, but if you had Night Trooper, it seems like that is helping out a lot. Um, but not too, too many options. Mirror is a good option if you want to try that. Uh, but Lord Vader is my recommendation. And then Afra is actually, you know, some of these are pretty high win rates. Uh, so yeah, do with that with do with that what you will. Lord Vader on defense. I'm not going to spend too long here. Um, filtered by just the damage up, protection over time. It's pretty simple. bo is running all over Lord Vader. I'm not seeing anything under 80%. Um, so save your bows if you have them. For, have her for Lord Vader. That's a good way to go. JML, pretty good win rate too. Fennec, not so much, but it's just bow as far as the eye can see. So... Uh, yeah, and then Spring or Kylo, I have this filtered by the attacker Kron. Uh But it's not a very common defensive team. There's only 235 battles with this Kron, and people are just using JML um, or yeah, JML uh, and Jedi Knight Revan Lee JML. I don't have this filtered by anything, but it's just JML. People are saving JML is a hard team to like find the optimal value for. But if your opponent sets Supreme or Kylo, that's the best value for your Jedi Master Luke. Uh, pretty much bar none. And here I got JMK filtered by uh, several things. So the Plo Koon Kron, the Stun, and the Tank Revive. That is what I have. That is not what everyone has, of course. But that is the optimal best defensive uh, lineup. So that is what we're looking at here. Best win rates seem to be mirrors. Um, if you have Plo, you don't need J uh, GK. Um, you want to have someone more useful. So even Padme is pretty useful there. Uh, same thing, the win rate is higher when the other team has JMK or GK with Plo. Uh, so that's one thing. And this shocked me when I saw this. So this is Reva, 81% against this team. Uh, people are using Tank Krons. So that is just really crazy. I mean, Tank Krons, some Attacker Krons, uh, some Support Krons. They're just, they're just working. Um, I think it's because Plo is cleansing a lot, so he's getting damage immunity, so you just go take him out, and he can't come back. Um, and then you can go at Commander Soka. So, yeah, it's not a no-brainer to set JMK with Plo on defense, because Reva, at this point, I would say is a cheap option. JML getting trounced. Um, there's not too much variety in what people are attempting. I mean, Leia's beating it pretty easily. And this is with a Radis Jin Urso comp. Um, that's kind of expensive now, right? Uh, right now, though. Uh, so yeah, without that comp, it, it goes down significantly. Um, and I would recommend keeping Radis separate. He's pretty dang good right now. Uh, Jabba has some good win rates, uh, about seventy-five percent. Sith Eternal, I got you know in three v three. I was making a work here and there with Night Sisters, but it's probably not that safe. Um, so my recommendation is Reva. Don't dispel like defense down from Plo, but if you dispel a damage immunity or something, or if he just cleanses, just go at him. Don't dispel with Seven Sister, then you can take him out straight away, and it's it's pretty smooth. Now moving on past Galactic Legend Land, I have Queen of Madala filtered by Master Qui Gon and Padawan Obi Wan, and I do have it filtered by the Qui Gon Kron because that is the most popular by far. I think there is an argument for the support Kron. Uh, but when we have this particular Qui-Gon Kron, <laughs> too many, too many rhymings ons, um, the player base seems to be of one mind with this. It's use your bane against Queen Amidala. That's what I've been doing too, and it's pretty high win rate. I mean, some poor souls are losing 5% here and there, uh, so that's unfortunate. And it looks like the this lowest rate is the Sith Empire Trooper when they have Mace. So Mace might be a good option if you're setting Queen Amidala. Uh, but yeah, it is just, it's just a monolith out here. It is just Bane. I mean, Sith Eternal, even with Sith Eternal, people got Bane. Uh, so it is a good defensive team. I'm really very much enjoying it against Ray. It crushes Ray, makes it a lot easier. Don't have to worry about it. 
uh, especially because I mostly face nest ra versions of Rays, where Malakos and Starkiller aren't as good. Sorty, not really panning out too much against that Kron. Uh, if we do look at the support Kron version, uh, so let's see, Sorty's probably a more popular choice here. Yeah, it's a little bit better, 64%. Um, so, and or 42% when they have Echo. Echo, hmm, let's kind of shut that down, because Shock T and Echo bounce off each other. Echo has good speed. Shock T is getting turn meter and can pass a turn to Echo. So that's what's happening. Like Shock T gets turn meter from anyone getting hit. She does her middle special and that gives Echo 100% turn meter days. You're done. So if you are setting it, it might be worth it to set Echo. Um, especially for me, you know, in Kyber one, like I don't really use my bad batch much. Uh, so that's definitely an option. So that's Queen Amidala, Qui-Gon Jinn. I lost a match because I lost Qui-Gon Jinn and I underestimated it. I undermanned with Rey and it was painful. I couldn't believe I did that. I just need, I, I was set otherwise. I just need to put a normal team in, a uh, normal Rey team and it would have been fine, but they stun locked me. I have this filter by the Stun Cron. A lot of people are using ETH Koth, um, which I mean, that's a good option. That's popular, but you don't have to. Uh, but this is just showing how many of the stun crons are just using ETH Koth. Who counters JML? Shuts off, uh, you know, shuts off the Omicron. You just gun down Anakin, you know, or ETH Koth or whatever. Uh, probably Anakin first. And then it's pretty smooth. Reva, pretty smooth. Bad Batch, not great. Malgus, very high win rate, but the banners, probably not getting them all back. Um, Bad Batch has a higher rate when there's Mace in there, I guess, instead of Keller and Beck. Uh, so I like Keller and Beck on the team um, as the fourth or fifth with either Mace or Eve Koth, just depending. Uh, but Keller and Beck lead, I'm not really looking at because you can't do the loop anymore with uh, Eve Koth. So yeah, it's kind of back to Qui-Gon. Um, Reva is pretty safe. Dark Dream off Gideon, really good option for this team. 93% uh, almost high banners. Uh, Bo-Katan Mandalore, really high. 98%, 63% win rate. So if you don't see Lord Vader, might be worth it to throw a bow in there. Um, Gas, I don't know what to do with General Skywalker this season. Uh, he's not doing that great on defense, as we'll see. Um, but like, what do you do with him on offense? I don't know. Maybe, maybe he'll accompany a team, uh, a JMK team or something. Uh, and Gungans who do work against Qui-Gon. Uh, they're a quintessential Qui-Gon counter because the shield generator really inoculates you from Anakin's wrath. Um, okay, so that's it for this, for Qui-Gon. Some pretty good options, but it's actually a pretty decent defensive team right now. Gungans, the only real option for Datacron is support. We have Jar Jar and Boss Nass that are support, and they are juicing up Tarples and Boomadeer. Um, most popular and one of the most successful counters is Treya. Uh, there's one particular counter I like that I'll show you in a second. Um, but Treya lead, doing better than Savage lead. Bo, pretty good option, 76%. Reva, not great, 45%. JML, pretty good. JMK, if you have to use JMK, I would hope you win. Uh, and Phoenix is decent, but you know, not that's super safe. Um, I would think the Sabine Kron is good for that, uh, but this is also a pretty winning lineup with Kanan. Ezra seems to be a good option because he calls an assist and he attacks twice. So the attacking twice, it's gonna that shield generator twice, it's good for business. So that's just an interesting note. Uh, I didn't use Phoenix at all first week. Uh, it's kind of a packed board, so you know, a lot of things go by the wayside. Um, what else? Uh, General Skywalker not doing great. Leia, pretty slam dunk there. Uh, but here's the thing I was interested in. So Mon Mothma with Pal. Let's add the Pal Cron. Tagging uh, data Cron primary so Pal. Um, goes up really high. You add Luthen in there. It's pretty dang good. Um, so this one. Kyle Katarn seems to make it worse uh, in some cases. Yeah, so 82% when it's Kyle Katarn, 100%. Well, now there's Kyle Katarn there. I don't know what the underlying, I don't know, the best mix is, but uh, Mon Mothma with Luthen and Pal, Pal Kron, pretty good win rate. Uh, it's close to 
Treya. So uh, take those off. Take the Datacron off. Uh, and yeah, that, I mean, that's most of the options we're seeing out there for Gungans. Don't try to solo with Moff Gideon. That's fixed. So yeah, that is Gungans. Uh, Zori Finn, I didn't, I don't think I sorted by any Datacron. It's kind of all over the place. Like no particular, I don't know, best choice for them really. But they're not doing great on defense. So you might want to take them off. Night Sisters wrecking them. Afra wrecking them. CLS pretty high win rate. Um, and none of those are high demand teams elsewhere right now. So Zori, I would say not a good defensive team. Starkiller beating it, you know, gas, you know. Not the best right now. Not not a great time for Zori in High Kyber. Um, Malgus, this is sorted by both tank revive and tank uh, stacking, like the high protection one. Um, I have these four filtered. I did not filter by Marauder, although you do want a Sith in the fifth slot, not HK47. Um, Sith Eternal is, I mean, this is the most common use for Sith Eternal I've seen, uh, and it's pretty safe. I mean, Watt actually doesn't seem to help as much. Um, if I had to guess why this is lower, I'd guess that's because Sith Empire Trooper is there. You are, you have to link Sith Empire Trooper, and then you can link uh, Malgus, but you can't. And then you might end up killing Bastila and Darth Revan in your ult, and then be stuck behind Malak in night timeout. Um, let's, let's just confirm that if I'm right. Uh, it's a duration. Or just stuck behind Sith Empire Trooper, actually. So, yeah, people are getting stuck behind the tank, and you can't kill him. Wow, so that's interesting. Uh, but it is a lot of timeouts, as I was speculating. Uh, yeah, I think Sith Eternal, good use is against Malgus. I mean, Jabba gets it done. Gas is pretty bad here. Slicker gets it done. But this is a really good defensive team. You need to budget for it. Mirror, terrible. You need to keep an eye out for this. And I think it's a great great defensive selection. Reva, um, most common Datacron. It's kind of split, like this is not so popular one way or another, but tank ones do seem to be the most popular because we only, we only have one support, fifth brother. Uh, we do have a couple attackers, but keeping Reva tanky, I guess, is more valuable. Uh, Treya and Malgus, probably the best bargain counters well actually the best bargain would be phoenix look at this 90 percent win rate and this is with sabine and a pre-taunting tank 95 4 percent that's crazy that is insane um and so for this i would guess the sabine datacron is pretty helpful there uh so Actually, no, not not quite as much as I thought. Like the rates actually go down a little bit. Uh, so what are we doing here with the 94%? So the thought behind a pre-taunt is uh, you take Kanan out, you put a pre-taunt in, and then ready to die has to go on that pre-taunt. Because uh, if it goes on Captain Rex, you're pretty much toast. Um, you don't want that. Uh, so what are people using? Attacker, kind of using whatever, attacker support, a lot of sports, some tank even. Yeah, it's it's just a good team against Reva. So Reva might not be the best to slap on defense right now because Phoenix is doing pretty good. I use Malakos myself too. I don't think you need Fulcrum. Fulcrum's easier for them to kill and you just lose banners. Um, Bokadon, not so hot. So it is a tough defensive team, but the, the fact, <laughs> gosh, like any, see, it doesn't even have to be light side. Any dark side, pre-taunting tank really makes it easier. So. Phoenix against Reva very much in play this season. Next, we got Rannis and I have filtered by the Wordy Rope One Cron and K2SO. Uh, Tank Revive is probably the best, um, but you don't really need it. With these two, it's about a 45% win rate, win rate. So really good hold rate for them. Uh, CLS, terrible win rate, 6%. Gas, still terrible, 20%. Uh, Trey is having some luck. Phoenix, no dice. Malgus is one of those counters. Bounty Hunter is not doing so great, but 45%. So uh, it's not it's not nothing. Uh, Reva, 79%, one of your better chances. I did do bo versus this, and it took forever. I almost timed out. It was rough because of the K2SO Kron removing turn meter. It was terrible. JML, 56%. 
Um, I mean, the normal go-to is Bounty Hunters, but they're so low. So I think Radis is a heavy defense recommendation for me for this season. Um, Slicker is obviously going to take it out. Sith Turtle doesn't have as much of a problem. Uh, but you're going to need some big guns. It is not simple to beat Radis with these uh, specific Kron abilities. Uh, Gungan still only 71%. Uh, gas is a higher percent. That's what that's what Palcron. Uh, I don't know, not Palcron, but Pal's there. Hmm, interesting. I don't know why that one's seventy percent. Mall, not really getting it done. So it's tough. Yeah, I don't know what the clear answer is for Amaras other than slap him on D. Darcher Moff Gideon. I have it filtered by Moff Gideon Cron and all the buff ones. Um, the loop is turned off, but it's still you know helpful. Alert specifically is very good. Malgus is probably the best go-to counter, bargain-wise, uh, along with Radis. if you are bringing Radis on offense. Bokdan is a good shot, 85%. Darth Revan leads good, too, because if someone falls below 50% health, you put Death Mark on Darth Moff Gideon, and you take him out. Uh, but it's still lower than just Malgus, so I wouldn't recommend. Uh, Rad is very popular. JML's not great, even. Uh, so it's hard. It's a tough, it's a tough team to beat. Um, Bokton, yeah, Raya, so I think we've seen most of the stuff people are using against that. Lord Vader, oh, Lord Vader's still having a hard time, that's crazy. General Grievous, uh, just a quick look at this to show you it's not really a great idea. I have it filtered by all four, five of these characters, including Stamp. Wampa crushing it, Night Scissors crushing it, don't recommend. <laughs> Uh, just by the fact it's Wampa in High Kyber, no one has much of a use for Wampa anymore. So, Grievous off the table, I would recommend. Um, the Malakos team, the defending Datacron primary is either attack or support. They're pretty even, so I'm not going to filter. Just going to look at what we have. Valgus is a good option. Even Trey has a hard time, 55%. Uh, so, using a GL. Um, I used I myself used JMK in a recent match because I, I had a lot left and I was kind of scared of this team. It's a tough team. Uh, Malgus gets, does so well because of the crit avoid. Um, Java gets a dump. Man, there are not great options against Malico. So if you are, you know, you don't need your Malicos on offense, you frequently, it's a good option to put him on D. And he's kind of getting it done. I mean, Gungan's not too great of an option. Uh, even Bane having a hard time. That is crazy. So, Sir Malikos, great team. Mon Mothma with Palkron is what I have here. Um, and I do have it filtered by Luthen because he is the strongest. But I don't know. I'm not sold on this as a defensive team. Uh, Treya, Reva, CL CLS is not great. Um, but this might be better suited on offense. Dark Room off. Gideon takes it out. Uh, Malikos. Uh, Phoenix, not really. But it does stop Bo. Bo is not great here. Um, so, I mean, it might be decent on defense. But I, I actually have it filtered to look at its offensive abilities. Because uh, it seems like it's better off in your hands on offense. Uh, but it's actually pretty good on defense, too. Next, we have Trench, just filtered by the support Kron uh, with these four. This is the best line. If you're going to put Trench on defense, you got to throw Watt there to really help out. Gas, 52%. Still not great. Man, I'm seeing Malgus all over the place. How many Malguses are out there that people are using him so much? Uh, but those A tier teams are being this Malgus, Starkiller, Reva, Treya, Gungans have it hard countered. Um, even Afra has a chance. Even Phoenix has a chance, man. So that's that's a pretty. If you can get Phoenix Doric, that's pretty great value. Uh, Babash not really cutting it. Uh, Darcher Moff Gideon gets it done. Um, Sorty, wow. So this Sorty lineup is actually a great counter for Trench, 91%. So this is just a nuke team. If you're not familiar, you get a lot of turn meter from BB-8, uh, and you inflict some debuffs. Sorty does a lot of debuffs. Lobok gives buffs and therefore does debuffs with the support Kron. Uh, T3 M4 gives offense up to Dark Trooper. Our Dark Trooper does AoE, crits everyone, and they all die. So that's the short of it. Uh, you need a good turn order though with Dark going last. Uh, that's a pretty good option because that's not really working on Queen of Wendell right now. 
Uh, here we got Star Killer. I do have it filtered by the Visus Marcron and the Good Healer, the Wordy Healer <laughs> Cron, because uh, it's it's holding pretty well. Reva doesn't even have a good win rate. Uh, even Springler Kylo and Sith Eternal Emperor are getting stopped a lot of the times. Uh, Bane eighty five percent. Mirror mirrors are really dependent on who has the fastest Marjade. If you have a faster Marjade, might be worth it. If not, stay steer clear. Uh, Malgus, who seems to be working everywhere right now. Nope, 26%. So beware if you see Star Killer, you need something good. Definitely. Grievous used to be kind of a good counter. It's under 50%. Not, not the best. Uh, but yeah, that's Star Killer still kicking. Uh, Captain Enoch. I messed up big time against this in 3v3. You gotta kill Enoch first, but this is filtered with Dark Trooperidia and Night Trooper. On the team, and I didn't filter by Data Cron because it's pretty even between Night Trooper Cron and Enox Cron. Um, and again, Malgus, Treya, working Reva for the high percentage rates. Gas has a chance, but not great. CLS is actually a decent chance, 70%. That's high for CLS from what I've seen. But Night Sisters is probably the best bet I'm seeing here. Uh, so just killing them with Plague, trying to take out Enoch first, and then work your way down through the others. Uh, and Scout Trooper seems to have an adverse impact on their chances. Uh, but Night Sisters, great option, great bargain option against Enoch and, and Gas. You know, that might not be the worst use for Gas this season. Whew. Oh man, we're coming down the home stretch. I have been talking a long time. I uh, just wanted to show Night Sisters on defense. I filtered by the Zombie Cron and Night Sisters. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, Gas doesn't have a great value this season, and he hardcore shuts it down. So that's just one one thing that, I don't know, and Bo gets it done. Uh, but the fact that I'm seeing a team that doesn't have otherwise good uses for it <clears throat> um, uh, beat this team, it, may, it discourages me from recommending it on defense. Anything that prevents revives is going to really muddle that up. Uh, next we have Saul. I do have filtered by Kalk Tarn and Luthen, I know you can't use Luthen on two teams, but this is just looking at the best option. I have it filtered by support. This, look at the win rate with the support cron, 68%, and then look at the win rate with Luthen cron, which was the most popular. Okay, so um, 76%. So it is a higher win rate. So I prefer to just stick with support cron to juice up Calcutan. Um, CLS, that's one of the higher win, excuse me, higher win rates we've seen after CLS, uh, and then also Sortie, uh, great use there. So if you're looking for a bargain counter, I'd say Sortie is a great use for Saw. Uh, let's see if that works when they have the Luthen Cron, uh, the Sortie lineup. Uh, still 80%, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, gas working. Uh, I, the Luthen Cron is way easier to beat, so don't recommend that one. Maul, uh, I don't want filtered by any Cron particular, but I have filtered by Imperial Super Commando, Gar, and Candorous. But CLS is crushing it, so and I, I'd say use Attacker Cron with CLS, so double attacks because this team's almost all attackers, and it's not gonna go great for this team. Also, Bo-Katan, you can have a battle for the fate of Mandalore, and she'll crush it. Um, Trey is pretty dang good there. Star Killer, Even Grievous is taken out, so Maul, not that great on defense. If Grievous is taking it out, a little banners, but uh, still a lot of easy options. Even Bad Batch is over 60%, so I think you have Maul on offense or throw him with Lord Vader or something. Treya. I have Treya filtered by Support Cron and Nihilus, and it's a great defensive team. Uh, unlike a lot of these other A-tier teams that aren't GLs, I'm only seeing GLs at the top to counter them for good win rates. Gas, terrible win rate. We got C, Slicker, JMK, all up here. A Mirror is pretty good. Bane, 72%. That's not great for Bane. Bane is a wrecking ball, so if it's only 82% or 72%, that's surprising. Jabba, yeah. Treya, premium team on defense. Crushing Malakos, crushing Malgus. 
Just beware. Poketon, don't forget about it. So this team, insane. Definitely a high-tier defense team. And then this is what I was talking about, General Skywalker. Um, I have it filtered by nothing. <laughs> um, so the stun, Jedi stun is the most popular thing we're seeing. Uh, but even with that, 83% by CLS, not really a great look. Um, I mean, there's also you know, Star Killer. Yeah, Malgus, not really. With Star Killer, Malakos. Uh, but the fact that CLS is a good option there really discourages me from putting gas on defense anymore. So I think I'm going to take him off defense um, and then maybe use him as a Jedi as opposed to um, being on a clone team. I don't know. I just could see less as easy. And then the last thing I wanted to look at, I did mention that I wanted to filter by uh, Mon Mothma and the Palkron. I do have Palkron selected, and I have Luthen. This is showing Kyle Katarn too. I'm probably going to keep Kyle Katarn with... Um, what is it? Kyle Katarn with uh, Saul. Um, but my recommendation is this is a great counter for Gungans. So if you want to put your Treya on defense and still be safe for Gungans... That's where this is working out the best. Um, Leia, not so much 55, 44, 78 on that. So it's got a chance. Definitely does have a chance. Uh, and against Jabba too. So it's actually kind of impressive killing it on Trench. Um, but I'd recommend... I, I would recommend trying to keep Luthen with them. Uh, but I'd take it on offense and then try to take out something like, like Gungans. So even if we don't have Kyle Katarn... Um, it's not a high sample size, but the all the ones that did try, even with crap like Lando, uh, Chirrut, Biggs, they were beating it. So uh, I'm excited to try that out and just put Trey on defense. So that's what I'm doing. And that's going to be it for this one. So this has been the meta report for season uh, 58, I guess. I don't want to keep tracking the season numbers, but for uh, season 58, 5v5, October 2024. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and best of luck in the last two weeks of this season. Bye.